Yo, yo, say less. Yo, say less. <laughs> so I'm just going to sh- run through the little um, stuff I've been doing, the coding I've been doing for a while before I even break it down. So I've definitely read the book twice already. And I think I'm going to have to read it, like, what's it called? Three times just to actually get it a little bit more. But I'm definitely understanding. But overall, I feel like I probably need to start working on my own stuff because I can't, I can like do some stuff, but like I want to be able to link a lot of stuff together so it can be like, whoa, that's pretty sweet. But then again, like I haven't really like read about like the game part of it. This is like basic coding knowledge. So once I probably start reading now, I'll be like, oh my gosh, now I can understand how to connect it. So I'm going to break all this coding down. But overall, like, see, like it looks kind of sweet, though. I ain't going to lie, though. But <laughs> so those little green things I said is like it tells you what it's supposed to do. I'm gonna break down the C out, C in kind of stuff. I don't know what game to make though. But let me just go over this a little bit faster kind of stuff. Yo, been grinding, boys. I remember when I first started, my brain used to hurt within like the first first like five minutes of this thing. But now I can go a few hours before really hurting. Violence. So now I'm about to break down the coding right here. <laughs> then I'll run it. So up there where it says include IO stream and include screens. Okay, IO stream pretty much when you see that little thing that says C out or, or C O U T and C I N, it pretty much means to like print something to the screen and accept like um parent or functions or answers. Okay. So up here where you see where it says class and all that stuff. That's above this part. Then when you go down here, where it says um, INT main. So this is the main function. And up here is the global function. So when you put stuff in the global, it pretty much makes it easier for the local. Because otherwise, you're going to be doing, like, it's going to be very repetitive of typing the same code again. So when it says CL, hey, um, hey, fam, welcome back type of stuff. So when you do it like that, it's going to print the stuff to the, the string. And strings are pretty much used to type or accept, like, like words. So you get to be able to type words into that. But it's like the INT, it means, like, integer. So, like, you can put numbers into that bad boy and float. All that stuff is, like, to do decimals and... Like that C, like char right there, or character, means what's it called? So you can enter, like, it only accepts one character. So it's, be- it's better used for yes and no answers. So, for example, like, you can do, like, so there's, like, a mathematical stuff over here. So INT, Y, INT, um, so you do that, multiply, enter a number, boom, 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 boom. Um, but overall, you guys get the gist of it. I'm going to run this bad boy one time for the voice and break. Oh, my gosh. But I'm just going to run it down. I just wanted to show the progress. Say less. <laughs> Violence. So that's why I need to just start practicing a little bit more so I can just start linking stuff together. I think I got the knowledge, but now I need to, like, practice, I guess. Boom, boom. So all that stuff you see right there before, it says, hello, family, welcome back. You guys seen that back there? Your name is Wes. When this, it says string, name is Wes. There's all this stuff you saw right there. It says, enter two numbers. Boom. Boom. It says, do another one. But this time, it's going to subtract two numbers and add the other one. So 90, 899, it's going to add 57. Then that's what you get right there. So negative whatever. It says, what your name be? I'm going to see. I'm going to say, um, Wes. Boom. It says, enter a number. Boom, boom. Second number. Boom. It's the total of those both numbers. It says, what's your age? Right? I just put a random stuff right there. Say 45. Boom. It says, your eligible, eligible, um, <laughs> you're able to vote. Long story short. I just say, what's your age right now? 15. That's for something else. It says, sorry, you're too young. It says, what grade did you get, right? Let's just say you got an A, right? Boom. It says, excellent. Your grade is an A. What grade did you get? F. Boom. So if you go, what grade did you get, right? F. It says, it says ouch. That's not West. Choose violence, kiddo. <laughs> then it says your grade was an F. So all these other stuff you see right here, right? 
these are like lower in um the value of z then is put it is add in what's it called by one until it gets to um 30 then it stops then it says um the, the index is pretty much to choose different locations and the element at zero and all that stuff i'll show you in a second then what's the greater great um greater number than this right here is called a hexo de um de decimal pretty much right it's kind of like how crypto location of the address is made right then the sum is 51 all that stuff then all the other stuff you see right here now i'll give you an example quickly so when you seen that stuff that says um enter the numbers this is where you enter those numbers enter the second number all that stuff right there um so when it says um you um what your name be right and you do the c in it's pretty much then you get to enter your name then you have to do boom boom boom, boom then your name kind of stuff then it says this is what happens if you do that. It says, what's your age, right? So if your age is greater or able or greater than or equal to 18, you're able to vote. Otherwise, if I would have did something less, I would have been sorry you're too young to vote. Then boom, 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 you enter the bars, all that stuff. What grade did you get, right? So if you do A, or but it has to be like a capital A, it gets excellent. Then if you did it, if I did a B, it would say very good. Then it would be like, um, that works, you pass, all that kind of stuff. Then let's just say, then scroll down, scroll down then this right here right it's a loop so like for example um do um a equals 10 then if a is less than 10 then it pretty much um it goes by two so it's going to increase um a so it'll be 10 12 um 14 until it gets to um the, to 20 pretty much that's pretty much the same thing but a different way like um while loop this is a for loop while loop and now it's going by one. Then this is a dual while loop. So it's doing this until boom, it gets less than until it gets to um less than or equal to thirty. So it goes to thirty. So right here is a row number, right? These are a little um it's an example of how to use arrays using indexes, right? So index at three right here, right? So this first one's always zero. So it starts at zero, one, two, three, then you're gonna get forty. Then for example, um, this is pretty much like using um, what's it called the the address of. So if you do it like that, and this is an example of using printer or pointers, then boom, 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 boom. This is how to use the class, right? So instead of every time you're doing C out, this is this. You just do student one, then um, you do get info, which is up there, and it says West Money. So you can put like that's when it came to that roll number part right there. So it's gonna be. West money, then roll number is 45, then but you can't use that. It won't show the information because it's in the class, unless the class could be public, private, and all that kind of good stuff. Yeah, pretty much like. But yo, that's it for the most part, boys. Let me just go back up for a second. Um so right here, um, road number. So it'd be like this. What's your name? West Money, road number, then you enter whatever that, then a 45 kind of stuff. But overall, yo, save less. Yo, keep me activated.